Hey guys, it's your boy here, Death Cookie 13. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I actually just say it's your boy here. Alright, uh, well, now I'm actually the worst YouTuber you ever listened to before. Welcome to my Call of Duty Black Ops 3 DLC Descent the th and Map Impressions Grud Crow V. So, I have some gameplay playing in the back, and I'm using the cool the, the weapon, the, the new Wonder Weapon. Uh, and then you got the Easter egg song playing in the background as I just kill shit. But yeah, so my map impressions for the map. Uh, pretty much, I'm gonna go down a list of things, but pretty much I think the map's pretty good. I'll give my final, my final thoughts after everything I've been said. So, the intro of the map, if you play solo player, is actually really fucking cool. It's pretty epic. Honestly, it's one of the best intros I've seen to a map when you play in a long time. It honestly really gives you a nice vibe of what the map is going to be. Pretty action-packed. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of going on in the map. And that we're kind of leading towards the very end of the story. At least for this game, we're, we're getting towards the end of the story. So it's like, it feels like you're finally getting close to finishing your task. And you have this kind of oncoming breath of, like, a sigh of relief that you're almost done with this long, arduous journey. And that's what the cutscene kind of feels like. But after you have the intro of the map, you have the obviously the starting zone. I the starting zone of the map is very pretty, like it looks very nice. Um, the map is also very fast paced in the starting zone and throughout the entire game in general. It just feels really fast paced than a lot of the other zombies maps where it kinda felt like the beginning was kinda very drudgingly slow. And I'm not just talking about Black Ops 3 zombies, I'm talking about like, some some zombie maps in general very uh, kinda felt like you were, you know, dragging your feet through the map's beginning trying to get set up. When here, it's like really fast-paced. It feels like, well, holy shit, you know, we're already on round 10. Well, well, fuck, you know? Which isn't generally a bad thing, because it doesn't, it, it makes the map feel very, like, alive, the fast, the fast the map is. But sometimes, depending on the person, you know, they, they feel like the map is really bad if it's fast-paced, you know? But to me, personally, I think a fast-paced map, kind of like, kind of like TDM, it's, it's always refreshing, because you don't, it's like, is somewhat the same, but there's a lot of different things that can happen in a fast-paced game mode or map or whatever, you know. So I don't know. I feel like Grab Kobe is really nice because of the fast-pacedness of it. Uh, after you get out of the, uh, the starting zone, you, know, you have shield parts and all that. You know, the shield on this map, very pretty, it's very. It's aesthetically beautiful. Like this map, this map has a really nice shield like design. It's it's pretty much a dragon. Like it's it's like a shield dragon make thing. It's very pretty, honestly. I love it. Uh, it shoots green flame. It's 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 very nice. It's a very nice shield. Probably one of my favorite shields uh, to a zombies uh, map, honestly. So very very nice, very nice. Uh, the power, the power, the power area, the uh, dragon control uh, looks very nice. The layout, the layout of it, it's really 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 good, really thought out. And you got Sophia, the giant orb of intelligence. Which, you know, I'm guessing leads into the Easter egg stuff. So that's nice. She's really pretty. Very beautiful. I take her out to dinner, honestly. Uh, she's probably the only girl that would ever go out to dinner with me anyways. So after I get the codes, obviously, and then I could take her wherever, I guess. So, but yeah. Speaking of dragon control, uh, obviously this map has uh, dragons. <laughs> dragons? <laughs> dragons and zombies? <laughs> what is that? Treyarch, why did you do that? Dragons and zombies? That doesn't make any sense. That's that's honestly what you hear from a lot of people who don't know the storyline is Dragons and zombies, that's dumb, man. But it's, I mean, it, it makes sense, but I, I mean, whatever. Anyways, but the dragons on this map, they're honestly not tedious. Like, a lot of people are worried that the dragons for this map would be very fucking, like, Oh my god, here comes a dragon. Alright, dragon's here. I wanna kill myself. But it's like it's like the robots and giants. And, and giants? What the fuck? It's like the robots in Origin. Uh, and you know, some people, some people that thought the robots in Origin were also tedious and dumb. So, I don't know. The dragons aren't as, you know, prevalent. Is that even a word? They they aren't as frequent as the, or, the giant robots in G Origins. Because those robots show up, like, all the fucking time. And they show up like three at a time sometimes, and it's like, what the fuck do you want me to do here? What the, what the fuck? 
And then it's like you had to be you had to be scared because you could step on and you feel like you're an ant. And then you're like I, you're like oh man, I feel like I'm watching the movie Ants Life, except it's not a good kid friendly movie. It's fucking I'm getting shit on because I suck. And you had to get the golden helmet, and you know the whole deal of origins. You played it right, I'm sure you did. And if you did it, what the fuck are you doing playing Black Ops 3 Zombies? You don't know the storyline. Uh, I'm joking! Like, storyline even matters for zombies community nowadays. Uh, d d please don't flame me, I'm honestly joking. It's all about, it's all about, it's all about story and gameplay, and that's why people hated Zetsubo Nushima, because gameplay was terrible, even though I liked it. But I digress. The dragons actually aren't that bad of a of, uh, addition. They're not as annoying as everyone thought they would be. And unlike the giant robots and Origins, uh, you don't have to get a fucking golden helmet to survive their fucking path of destruction. Your shield actually protects you from flames. So you just pull that bad boy out, you walk through the flames, and you feel like you're a shepherd of fire. It's actually it's it's really nice. It's really it's really pretty. Not to mention, I feel like a badass whenever I see a dragon come by. And I barely escape the flames of doom. What? Speaking of the zombie, the dragon's fire. What the fuck? Can't talk. Please end me. Speaking of the dragon's fire, uh, they brought back elemental zombies. Uh, if you were if you played Black Ops One, you will remember. Well, actually, I mean, I guess if you play Black Ops 2, you would also remember the Napalm Zombie. It's pretty much zombies on fire, which would then, like, explode, because I don't fucking know. I guess 115 superconducts heat or whatever, and an explosion. I'm sure there's a scientific reason, and if not, I'll just pull it out my fucking ass, because I have a degree in bullshittery. So they brought back the Napalm Zombies, and, you know, if a zombie gets hit by dragon fire, it either dies, which is very rare to generally die, or it'll turn into a napalm zombie. It's pretty much a napalm zombie, obviously, if you knife it or shoot it or whatever, it blows up and it's like, kapow! And you're like, oh no! I'm gonna go down. I went down by the fire because I'm an idiot. Just like that, except, you know, yeah. Whatever. Anyways, so you got the napalm zombies. That's only one of the elemental zombies they brought back. They brought back, you know, static charge zombies, which are kind of like the napalm zombies, you know, when you knife them or kill them or whatever, they fucking go boom and, yeah. But you get, you get, you get the electric zombies by uh, the 935 bots, which are pretty much the uh, flying things from Shadows of Kill Myself, but they're now robotic and not dumb. And they're nine, the 93 bots either drop static charge zombies, or they charge up zombies and they shock them with their fucking tentacle hentai doom lasers, which is very arousing. And that's actually my fetish, honestly. I mean, my specific fetish has finally been founded. Finally, I can do something and just get off for once in my entire life. I've been waiting for my fetish, and I just thank you, Triarch. You finally showed me what I need in my life. All right. Anyway, just, uh, so they got they brought back zappy zombies. So you know, you knife a zombie. I I, I kissed the microphone by accident. What the fuck? You can't, you hit you knife a zombie like the napalm. It blows up, shocks you. That's like oh, dude, fuck. Okay. Pack a punch. Pack a punch camel is really nice, as you can actually see on on the screen. The the, the pack a punch camel is really pretty. It's got it's kind of like a dragon scale, and then it's got like different colors. And it's like yeah, it's it's really really nice. It's probably one of my favorite pack a punch skins. The back of punch itself is actually not that bad. Um, I'll kind of show. I don't know when I'm gonna cut into it or whatever. Fucking this, cause I'm actually. I mean, this is the audio is post post uh, recording, like a normal COD commentator. I'm finally up there, guys. So I'm finally commentating like an actual real Call of Duty player. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, so the back of punch, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, you, you go, you fly on a fucking dragon, which is, I mean, that's that's already it. Yeah, it's, that's what I wanted, baby. You know it. So you fly in the dragon, the Pack-a-Punch, and then, you know, the first time you get the Pack-a-Punch, it's not open for you, so you gotta fucking go through the gauntlet, and you know the gauntlet, you know, everyone's been through a gauntlet. Sometimes you go into the your, your school locker room, all the boys roll up their towels, they slap you on the ass with the towels, and you're like, oh, is this the gauntlet I've been hearing about? And you feel like you're part of something for once in your life, when in reality, you're just a fucking idiot who decided to get slapped on the ass by a bunch of guys in your locker room who would swing their dicks and say, I am the Antichrist. What the fuck am I talking about? Oh, the gauntlet! So the gauntlet, you activate a button, it calls in a bunch of zombies, you gotta survive in, a, in the fucking room, do endless waves, not endless, it's four, it's like four waves, four, four waves? Four or five waves of, of zombies. 
Uh, it goes, you know, like left side, right side, top, bottom, and the entire house is open to fucking zombies fucking you in the ass. Which isn't my fetish. And then you get the pack a punch. And after you unlock the pack a punch, after you beat the gauntlet one time, the pack a punch is always unlocked for you to, uh, to never have to go through the gauntlet again. Which is really fucking good. I mean, I was worried at first when I did it. I thought that I'd have to keep doing the gauntlet every fucking time I went to go pack a fucking punch. I wanted to kill myself at that idea. But then I played the game again after I did the gauntlet, and it real I realized that the pack punch was permanently unlocked for me. And it would only close up after I activated the gauntlet again to get the dragon strike. Uh, amulet? Crystal thing? Whatever. So speaking of the dragon strike crystal thing... After you do the gauntlet, you pretty much get a crystal, which will call down a dragon strike uh, whenever you use it outside. It's pretty much the, uh, the fucking little orb dot thing. What the fuck am I talking about? From Origins, you know the thing? You throw it on the ground, and the giant robot will go... Boom, boom, boom. What the fuck is that? Some sort of dubstep song? I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. And he would shoot down rockets and whatever. Yeah, that would happen. That's a thing. It's pretty much that from Origins, except it shoots down green fire, which is really nice looking. So, yeah. So, I mean, obviously every zombie's map has a gauntlet. What the fuck? Shit. I spoiled it. Spoiled the topic. I spoiled it. Never mind. Can we... Can we... Can we cut that part out? I guess we can't cut that part out, so we're just doing it live. Whatever. So, obviously, this map, every map has a specialist weapon. For Black Ops 3, and the special weapon for this is the uh, the gauntlet, the uh, the fist of Siegfried and Royd. Sig, you, uh, you know the, the psychologist the psychologist guy who is like everything you think of has to do with sexual tensions. So like if you looked outside and you you had a dream, and in your dream you were licking a lollipop, the Sig the Siegfried Sig Siegfried Sig Sig Garfield, he would say you want to suck a dick. Yeah, they they made a, a weapon named after him, which is very good because I love I love fisting things. It's that's honestly probably my top fetish besides the uh, zappy tentacles of doom. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Can I not grab that max ammo? I'm an idiot. So yeah, you know if the gauntlets on this map is actually not that bad. And I mean I love decking fucking people in the face. It's, it's nice, honestly. What the fuck does that say? What? I put dragons twice on my topic list. Is there something I'm supposed to talk about? Oh, actually, yeah. The dragon. The egg. Yeah. The egg. You get a dragon egg and you can... You can be a mom. Or a dad. But probably more mom. And you, you get to hatch a, a, a baby dragon. And... You get a flamethrower with a gauntlet with the baby dragon. And it's... That's what I I'm guessing that's what I, I I'm guessing that's what that means. Yeah, you get to hatch a baby dragon for the for the fist and it's actually really cool. I don't actually have any gameplay of it because I don't know why. I just don't. But you get to be a mom or a dad, which is okay with me because honestly the only time I'll ever be a mom or a dad is by playing Black Ops Zombies because no girl will ever want to have sex with me because I am a loser who plays video games all day and Pokémon Go. So you know, if you want to hit me up, girls, I, mean, I got, a, I got, a, I got a, a meow on Pokemon Go. My number is uh, nine two zero, uh, nine one one. Please, please call me. I, I don't have friends. Dot com. The Easter egg song you actually heard previously on this in the video, uh, is sung by Clark Casanova, who was probably one of my favorite. Well, actually, I love all those songs. What the fuck am I talking about? I love, I love Maluka. I love Elena Sigman. I love Clark Casanova. He was obviously a really good singer for Zombies for Black Ops 2. A lot of people didn't like him, but I really loved his his vocals. So I was really happy when they brought him back for this map. And honestly, I really like his song. And then there's also another song called Ace, the the Ace of Spades, uh, which is I don't know who. I think it's Motorhead. Shit. I don't know who's singing that song now. I, I honestly just... I just blanked. Whatever. Well, the Ace of Spades is on this song. On, please. Oh my god, I can't talk. Can, we, can I end the video now? The Ace of Spades is a song on this map. You can activate it. It's really good. It's the intro song. It's a really good song. There's two Easter egg songs. Well, I guess there's actually more than two Easter egg songs. There's also like... 
another song on here, which is like Samantha's whatever, and then there's like sh music for a piano song, and then who knows what other fucking songs there are. But yeah, those those are some really good songs. They really add a lot of uh, a lot of flair to the zombies map, and it feels really nice. Anyways, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? I have a topic list for a reason. I wasn't even looking at it, and this is why I had one, because I literally just watched my gameplay and think to myself, holy shit, I'm bad at this game. My final, my final, my final, my, my, th <sighs> can, can I just go now? Like, honestly, I can't even talk. There's kids outside playing Pokemon Go, and I, Jesus Christ, what has my life become? I can't even talk. My final thoughts of the map. That's what I wanted to say. My final thoughts of the map. Overall, Garad Krovi. I, did, I tried to roll my R there and it didn't work there. I guess I'm an idiot. I don't know why. Anyways, the fi my final thoughts of the map. The map is very pretty. I love the layout of the map. Uh, it's, it's a very nice, fast paced, very strong, flowing uh, map. There's a lot to do. Uh, there's a lot of cool things to it. I love Pack a Punch. I love Easter egg songs. In general, I love the, the new ray gun, the Wonder Waffle weapon. The Wonder Waffle weapon. What the fuck, please? I didn't even talk about the new Wonder Weapon. That's not even on my top list. But uh, how could I forget that? I don't know. But the new, yeah, the new ray gun's really cool. I like it. Uh, the 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 uh the fucking Pack Punch skin's really cool. The Easter egg ending is cool. The cutscene is cool. Everything about this map is actually really nice. It's it's fun. It's honestly probably a map that I've been looking forward to the most. I haven't really been playing zombies too often. Like I, I honestly haven't really jumped onto the hype train for zombies because I've been doing other things. But this map kind of pulled me full force into, into Black Ops 3 zombies again. And I was like, alright, I mean, I could, I could play zombies again. And here I am playing zombies again. And honestly, I mean... Personally, there are some things about there's some gripes about the map where I'm just like Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this? Like sometimes when you know, when I well personally when I go down, sometimes it's hard for me to get back in the game when I get fucked over at the high rounds. But that's just I I think just me because I'm just a fucking shit player. But overall, I think I think the map is very well put together. It's very nice, and I can't wait for DLC for a zombie map because I feel like that would be. A nice send-off map. And if it's not, then, then fuck me. But I honestly hope it is. So, uh, yeah, this map's really nice. And if you haven't played it yet, I, I personally I personally feel like you should play this map. Because it's, it's well worth the uh, the money, in my opinion. It's well worth the uh, $15 or whatever if you don't have the season, season pass. It's a very good map. It's it's fun to play in solo. It's even it's, it's a lot more fun to play with friends. And honestly, you should you should play it. You should, you should play this map. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, or dislike the video. I don't really, I, I honestly don't care. This, this, this video was fucking. There's so many fails in here. I can't talk. It's, it's, I, it, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, don't forget. I already said that. Yep. Look at that. Another fail. Uh, if you want to add me on PS4, you just you know, send a friend request, Death Cookie 13, and I'll probably add you whenever I'm on. Because usually I'm offline because I don't turn Wi-Fi on on my PS4 for whatever godforsaken reason. I usually just plug in my Ethernet cable. But yeah. So if you want to add me, add me. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. This map is pretty and so are you. But seriously, you know, any girls, if you want to hit me up or whatever, I mean, I'll give you my real phone number. Just contact me on uh, Twitter. My link's in the description below. Uh... And I'll tweet at you in the DMs about my number, and you can hit me up on Tinder, uh, you can hit me up on uh, MySpace, AOL, Facebook, uh, Club Penguin, Warriors.com, you know, the Warriors Forum for the Warriors cat books, uh, you know, you can hit me up wherever. I mean, guys, you can hit me up too, I don't care, I'm not, I'm not really too picky as of these days, you know, I have no one here to love besides these bottles of soda and the, uh, the lotion right next to my computer. I'm joking, who uses lotion?